guys, welcome to the final episode of my CPU's tutorial series. Uh, in this episode we're going to be covering a few things. We're going to be um, working with this decoder that I've set up a little array for. And then we're going, we might be able to fit in a program being made, but we'll just have to see. So um, with this decoder I'm going to show you how to make this and how it works. So basically if you put in uh, any input, uh, so this would be the zero line, correct? Uh, so if you have any other ones besides zero, then it will give us a, um, it won't give us an output, which will in turn give us an output. I <laughs> uh, hope that makes sense. I also just realized that we're going to need um, a repeater there because this is inverted. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the next one. Next one, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Okay. So what you do here is you do this and then knock out the repeater. That would get us our one, and then you put all these on because those would be zeros. Uh, for the next one, you would uh, do this. You'd keep the repeaters on this side, and then you would have a torch there and knock out that repeater. Okay, guys, we're back, and let's just test this out. So if we press one, we get the one like we should. If we press 2, we get 2. If we put down both, then we get 3. So that is exactly what we want. But we also want to test um, for other signals. So what I do is I just turn them all on to test um, if the last signal is working, which is pretty important because uh, obviously this isn't a 3-bit CPU or we wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. So let me just place one here, here, and here. So place one at the end. Now obviously uh, we probably can't clock this at uh, too fast or uh, we'll, we'll get problems with line reading and stuff like that. So uh, another thing we have to do, let's go right here. Uh, another side note I should put is we should do that. So we, we could do that because uh, obviously this is the first CPU that we're building. Um, it doesn't have to be too totally efficient, you know. At this point it's about making it work. So we're probably going to clock this at a very, very slow speed. Um, I will do a series using more like instant logic uh, stuff like that and that will be a lot quicker than doing this uh, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about carry look ahead um, probably not carry look ahead but carry look everywhere uh, insta carry which will be very useful whenever you're making these types of CPUs because uh, obviously you don't want them to run slow know they're going to run slow because it is Minecraft after all. So um, right here we just take our program counter that we made in the last episode and we just uh, well we're gonna plop it in there. Uh, I'm gonna go grab this and I will be back once. Hey so we're back and we got the program counter up here. So now what we have to do is uh, just wire it up which will be the easy part and then um, we're going to hook it up to a clock and just see how fast we can go without uh, getting line skips and such, which will not uh, be good. And also, slight jitters, that wouldn't be good. So, yeah, so now we just hook this up like this. And here we go. So uh, now we're going to line this like so, 
And then um, also we want to make sure we get the delay right, which is important. Important. So we're going to put repeaters where they're needed. Let me just... Uh, let's first of all put a repeater on the output, just so they're all synced up at the right speed. Okay, and then um, we're going to turn them all on. And then we're going to place the repeater here and here. And then um, over here at these other repeaters, which uh, don't need extra signal strength, we're just going to put one tick on those uh, just to kind of even out everything else. Okay, so um, now we can start, we can uh, clock it. This is the moment that you've all been waiting for. So we're going to clock this thing um, probably pretty slow to start out with. Or we can do a manual clock for now. So as you can see, we have line 16 selected. Let me um, clear this. Okay. Uh, and then we'll start out in line 1. Let me just get that. And then we're going to have line on the other side. Okay, so now now we just turn down these ticks right here, and that'll make our clock. And this video is obviously going to be a little lengthy because it is the last video, and uh, you know that's just kind of how it is. Yeah, let's just uh, yep. So that's going to go in there. We're going to see it uh, do its first clocking, which is pretty exciting. So it's going to go to 1. So the reason that we had to make it uh, pretty slow is due to the fact that Minecraft computers use delay, uh, which if it didn't, then we would be able to do a lot quicker computers. So there we go. We got a switch, and that goes to line 3, or I guess uh, 2, technically. So this is a uh, you know it's it's a uh, quick at some some rates. Uh, we had to make sure that we generate a square wave just so we get the down and up edges. But yeah, if you like this video, um, then go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more and make videos like this, uh, you know, about every day. So. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and we'll actually be programming. So, bye.